with a friend, but uh, I don't know. That, that game looks super awesome. Alex, tell me about uh, this Ghost Recon demo. Yeah, so that's my <laughs> weird story. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely what I had in mind, too. That's my story of E3. Tell me about your story. Cool. So this was the one of the very last demos we did at the show on Thursday. It was for Ghost Recon. Was it Wildlands? Is that what it's called? We'll Wildlands. That. I'll, I'll take that. We'll Ghost that Recon Wildlands. Is that what it actually is called? Yeah, I can't remember. Okay. Wildlands. You have Thank to God. say it like that, though. Wildlands. Wildlands. Wild. Uh, okay, the Wildlands. Wildlands. I, so after oh, I'm s- from the Wildlands. <laughs> oh, is that in Jersey? <laughs> it's in Jersey. Okay. Exactly. North, yeah, it's north of the wall. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, Good amusement parks. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta it's, try the fries. Uh, After seeing the trailer for that at the press conference, I did not realize it was actually at the show. I thought that was going to be the thing that, like, they showed, and it's like, okay, we'll tell you more later on. It was like the division. Like, they're they're not actually going to show this. It's just here it is. But they actually had it in a back room. They were showing it to people. Uh, It was like a 15-minute demo, four players, showing kind of how the game works. Uh, They're playing it. Yeah, their developers are playing it. They're running through through a series of missions. Uh, The first noteworthy thing uh, is that the two guys who were the MCs of this demo. MC. Uh, I don't know if this was their shtick for the entire show or if it was just the end of the show and they were feeling a little punchy. It was so well rehearsed. So Austin, it felt you, like you, it. you both were there, right? Yeah, yeah, we were both there. We both sat in for this. Mm. Uh, the first guy just starts kind of talking like, hey, we're, uh, we're glad you're here. Glad you came to uh, it's so weird. Came, came to see the game. Oh, that sounds like very, end of E3 uh, to me. We're very... Uh, right? It's like senioritis. We're yeah. very ready to show you what we've been working on. Then the second guy comes in. He's like, yeah, it's going to be a uh, good time here as we uh, show you no playground. Sleeves. Was no sleeves. No sleeves on these shirts. This like anybody? Robert Joy looking dude yep. just like staring you straight in well, the fucking so face. He pointed at me. He's like, you look tired. I was like, yeah, it's the last day E3. I'm exhausted. It's like, you seen anything good? I'm like, yeah, I've seen a couple. You haven't seen anything like this. Oh, that's oh are they all doing like, a, they're just like a 40 minute long trailer for this? Yeah, for the yes. Game? They might as well have yeah, been. Yeah, like live. But you know, like a very pornographic. It was sexy. In a world of this game. <laughs> of this Bolivia. <laughs> In a world. It's actually this it's world. It's just this one. Dro- a world of drop in, drop out co op. It's just at the end of that show, yes. it was not. <laughs> the approach that I was necessarily looking for. You were like, looking for I, a growl? No, I wasn't really looking to be talked at like a dude calling up a suicide hotline oh, so he could oh, jerk oh, off. Like, that's God. not really what oh, I was looking for. You, you took it, and then you crossed you the finish going. line, and you then ran. you spiked the ball. Hey, <laughs> I know a person who works for those hotlines and has that it's problem, like, deals with oh, that on a regular oh, basis. I bet. That's, that's the worst. That's, that's like what they have to tell. Very, very vivid picture. So Wait. there you go. That's that's That was the tone that it took initially. Okay. Did you talk to anybody else who had been to that demo? No. Okay, because that's Should've. what you got to do. Because you got to see yeah. if anyone else. Did had you get this? Did you? Did they also kind of creep you out a little bit? Yeah. They were obviously mm. trying to be playful. It just, it just at the end of well, that, I was very tired and it was like, oh yeah. my god, this is so odd. That whole game ended up taking that same tone though of just like we're badasses and really huge boners for how much of badasses <laughs> we are. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the the CG thing they did or the. The, the presentation. The trailer. Yeah, the tattoo face. That was in the cocaine. cocaine. The oh, coca- so oh, much that, coke. The cocaine and the blood. Oh, yeah, blood yeah. coke. Blood yeah. coke. Blood so coke. much coke. Hashtag blood coke. So much coke. Get the cocaine. Uh, <laughs> the demo itself, I mean, look, that game is a gigantic open world. Uh, it looks like there's lots of cool, fun stuff for you to do. The premise, though, is basically clear and present danger if you took the whole Harrison Ford realizing sending soldiers into another country to fight an illegal drug war is bad <laughs> part just right out of it. But... So they are military. Are they are they like U.S. A- military. They are ghosts. So the so if you ask the military, deniable ops. Yes, it's deniable ops. That's okay. what it seems like anyway. But okay. they've they been sent into real ass Bolivia in the near future, which has become a narco state. Okay, quote unquote. Yes. Does quote, that mean they- it's weird that they are using? I get the legacy that the Ghost Recon brand has. Yeah, but this doesn't feel. Like a Clancy game? Like a Clancy title. This feels like a Far Cry The gameplay does remind me a lot of Far Cry. <laughs> yeah, like a Far Cry I feel like there Far might Cry-y. be towers. There are yeah, probably there are towers. 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 Wait, but, uh, can, I, can I ask you? I, I mean, it sounds like maybe there aren't specifics to be known here, but uh, is it like, hey, go start a mission and you start, uh, you pick like how you want to approach this thing and, and that's when everybody gets together and you team up in like a 
chat room and start your mission? It is meant to be highly coordinated with, but, with the people you're playing. Or is it like you're kind of roaming around uh, like Paradise City style and like then like a mission starts and then... You, that is literally what the demo was. It was four... So here's the, the demo room was us in chairs with headphones yeah. on and then the two guys that are left and right and then in front of us were four people playing the game on four different screens. And they had a guy on a video board like switching to a main screen between right. the four players. And at the beginning they were in like wildly different places. Someone oh, wow. was on the top of okay. the mountain. Someone was over in the snow. And then they and got someone, together? And they all got yeah, together yeah. to do this mission. And so that's like cool. Different they started out pairing up and then they got together and then they split up again. Yeah. yeah Which is probably not how ghosts would really act in the room. Oh, no. I saw you there. They, they, they'd be like, all right, well, you guys. Where are you? Are we, are we nowhere near each other? I saw you on cool. the, yeah, I'm the mayor of Bolivia. <laughs> I'm checking in on Foursquare. I saw you were in Bolivia. No shit. There's some. No shit. You want to go get some cocaine? <laughs> like, totally, bro. Let's go get some cocaine. I dropped cocaine. a pin. I dropped a pin. Come find me. Come find me. Come find me. Ah, my signal's fucked up. Dude, can you, can you get on? Ah, uh, you got a WhatsApp on there? Because my, my, my cell is terrible here. <laughs> How many guns did you bring? All of them. Oh, good. Right several, answer. several guns. Um, it's the thing that was like, there's something there. Like I, the we in a room could have a lot of fun with this game. Yeah. Yes, but also it feels super out of date in terms of like tone. It has tone. a real Reagan era drug it's war like, tone yeah. to it. So, but does it take place in the eighties? Because that no, oh, it's, it's near future, future it's narco future. state. Right. I forgot. And I it's it, like. We also saw the the demo, Vinny, you and I, of Just Cause, yes. which is like a lot of that same stuff. Yes. Except like tongue deep in the cheek. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it's so hard to, to pivot from one of those things to the other. Because I just know I'm going to have a lot of fun with Just Cause and not feel as grimy. I mean, this there was literally a scene where a couple of the, the ghosts wandered up on a tree that had a whole bunch of frank, hanging villagers, you oh, know, and like, really, really. and their their tone of like the way they explained it was like, you know, they were basically showing it off as scenery, right. and they were like, this happened, and this happened because of things that we had done previously in the game. Moving on, and then yeah. they just move like, right uh, on past. I was like, "Wait, wait what do you mean? What, what were those consequences? Uh, like, done something actually, different? Like, yeah, like how do, how do I prevent that from happening? Like, there, is there a way? There does seem like they're you know crossing my fingers here, but but there's a chance that they're going to do a lot of work to kind of humanize the the regular folks living in Bolivia. Like, you mm. run up on the different towns, and first of all, there's just like a really nice text treatment. Like, you came up on. San Marino or whatever the name I don't know what the name of the whatever was. town was yeah and, but it was like in a nice serif font which is not normally how like game fonts work no they're so sans they're so sans serif <laughs> yeah. this was like real like ooh this is okay. a little classic yeah wow well, that's either yeah, <laughs> and then there's okay. a little text thing underneath it that was like it's like my eye moves from letter to letter without even stopping <laughs> it's <is> just <laughs> like that and underneath it says like San Marino used to be a, a union town until the new dictator came in like oh wow like I got a little bit of like a little clip of what this place was before things were shitty mm -hmm. and I hope they give me more than just that but like okay yeah. more than just flavor text more yeah. than just flavor text but like it, that would be good but who knows? It's it's. I feel like it's so easy to kind of goof on that stuff, and, yeah. and especially when you start adding in multiplayer, right. when like somebody's just spinning and your buddy's just right. spinning in a circle, well, kind of like jumping up and down. Is yeah. Supposed to be so when they're when they're being so serious about it, like they're not being. They weren't being eighties action movie about it. They were being like nineties like war drama. You know, mm. like they thought this was like like you know Alex said like Tom Clancy a little a little too serious for its own good. Like not quite into like Richard Marcinko territory, but not like quite. not but in the I in like the ballpark. Called, I like that you called him Richard. That's classic. <laughs> Thank you. Don't, don't that's go how, with the Dick Marcinko. Joke. That's how he was billed on the Richard Marcinko books that my dad owned. So uh, there you go. So it sounds like Wildlands has Wildlands. an identity crisis. No, it sounds like no, they I don't know think exactly it, where they're. Well, going. No, I think no, I think but, they know what they are. But what I'm saying is that trailer kind of said one thing, that which the, was which the, was the, Blood the, Coke, which was Blood Coke Five, yeah. <laughs> and then. <laughs> And then you guys had this wackadoo presentation, right? Where it's like, what the? Like, it, I, if it, I had that it was happen, punchier it'd be like, than I thought it would be. I'd be like, I don't know, I don't know what kind of read I'm getting on this yeah. game right now. The, right, and no, then you see this awful, you know, setting, set drawing I mean, sort of stuff. The core thing of that demo was it was another example of, do you see that? You can go there. Mm, that yeah. was their big pitch. Was this is a gigantic open world? It is realistic You've terrain. Never played a Ubisoft game like this before. And it, yeah, yeah, right. it looked fucking gorgeous. Like the that's world, cool. especially, looked ast astonishingly good. Yeah. Uh, that said, the tone, like you said, was a little weird in places. And it's especially as like an end of E3 demo. I just didn't know what the Those hell the to do. The last thing yeah. we did on yeah. the floor. So. Like sometimes those are my favorite games, though. That yeah. like are really just like going for it tonally and then something breaks in engine yeah. and like a dude just starts flipping out or something <laughs> yep and then it's like that's a good goof it is always funny to